Hey, this is Chris from Mission Capital, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how a circularity breaker works. And so what I have in front of me is a large three-statement model. You can see I've got the income statement over here. Then we scroll down a little further. I've got the balance sheet. And then lastly, the statement of cash flows down here. And then below that, a bunch of schedules to help support the balance sheet. One of those schedules is called the cash flow sweep. And this creates some circularity in the model because the idea is we're going to pay down or we're going to take some extra cash to pay down the debt. As we pay down the debt, it's going to reduce our interest, which will ultimately reduce our cash. And so what happens is the model has a little bit of a circle. And so here's where the model can go wrong. Let's just say I accidentally type in some letters. I didn't mean to do that. I hit enter and my whole model kind of blows up. You can see from bottom to top, I've got a bunch of issues. All right, the quick solution, let's just press Control Z and fix that. So if I press Control Z, well, I still have a problem, right? All those letters went away, which is good. But if I still scroll top to bottom, bottom to top, the model has an issue all the way through. If I come up to the very top and I look at my interest expense, this is where the circularity is created. And so let's click on this, open up the formula, and you can see in here it says, if the circularity breaker is on, then give me a zero. Otherwise, just perform my normal interest calculation. And so that's what a circularity breaker does. It forces a number to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna switch tabs, go to my error checking tab. You can see up here, I have a cell called the circularity breaker. It's been labeled that up here. I'm just gonna to toggle the breaker on. In other words, I want to break the circularity. So if I click on, you can see all of a sudden, a lot of my bells and whistles here went away. If I look back at the model, my interest expense is now zero, right? Because that's the purpose of the circularity breaker. I'm saying, if it's on, give me a zero. So I'm forcing the interest to zero. And if I scroll down, you can see all the issues in the model are now gone. And again, that's because I've used the circularity breaker, changing the interest to zero. Now I can go back and toggle it off again, right? I don't want to have um, the circularity broken anymore. I just want the model to function as normal. So I'll turn this off. And now you can see all the issues are gone. I come back to my operating model. My interest expense has come back, right? I want the calculation to be there because I don't want to break the circularity and my model is back to normal. So all is fixed. So that's what you do with a circularity breaker. It's kind of a fancy way of saying if the model has a bust and it has circularity in it, force that section to zero. You can quickly toggle it on and off with that switch, and then you can reset everything. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.